Yo, everybody, how you doing? And don't you fear, King Dingbat is here. So what is this video about? Who the hell knows? I just wanted to see myself, hear myself talk. This is serious. Seriously, who the hell knows? Maybe, I don't know, maybe I feel like dancing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe we're stuck behind the wall. Hey, who are you? Where are you? Where's the edge? Where's the edge? Maybe we're gonna show you how to speak to a girl. Hey, yo, baby, how you doing? See this body? This body was made to give you pleasure. Hey, yo, I don't know. Like I said, I'm feeling very dingbatish today. So, what is this video seriously about? Who knows? No, I know. So what this video, what I really want to talk about is <laughs> Come on, you know I know. You know I'm not going to come and bother you over nothing. No. What this video is about is about the quarterback Carson Wentz. Now, I told you guys that I'm going to do a video later next week during the bye week. And I'm going to give my midseason awards out. But everybody already knows that it's no secret that my MVP so far is Carson Wentz. So I wanted to talk a little more about his accomplishments. Okay, but before I start that, I want to say that Deshaun Watson tore his ACL in practice. And it's such a shame. This guy is so talented. I really like this kid. I like this kid coming out of college. And I just wanted to say it's a horrible, horrible thing. Not only did I have him as my rookie of the year, but I had him second in my MVP of the entire league. The kid threw 19 touchdowns as a rookie. As a rookie, the kid is really something. And it's a shame he got hurt, tore his ACL practice, and it's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. And I think the Houston Texans... They, I think they signed Matt McStink, McLoin, McStink. He's now a Texan. So it's a shame for Houston Texans, a shame for Watson. I hope he gets better. I wish you nothing but the best. Now, because Watson is gone down, it's just one less person that is competing with Carson Wentz for MVP. Now, Let's look at Carson Wentz's numbers. I want to look at his numbers in the first eight games that he played. Um, many of you probably know it. It's, it's, it's pretty unbelievable, right? He has 19 touchdowns, five interceptions, 2,063 yards, a rating of 101.6, okay? Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because today it was announced that Carson Wentz was... The name, the NFC Offensive Player of the Month. Offensive Player of the Month, Carson Wentz, Mr. October. And it's a beautiful thing. So what did Carson do during October to win the award? He completed 89 of 148 passes for 60%, 60 percent, 60.1. He threw for 1,247 yards, 14 touchdowns, 14 touchdowns, Three interceptions and a 110.4 passer rating. And the Eagles were 5-0 in that span. That's pretty impressive. That is, that is ridiculous numbers. So he's on pace for over 4,000 yards, 38 touchdowns, and a monster, 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 monster year. I mean, I, I forget the statistic I saw, but I think there's only like three or four guys that have ever won an MVP in their second year, and they're all big Hall of Fame name type guys. It is unbelievable the year this kid is having. And if he can just continue down the same path, I think the Eagle fans are not only looking at a future multiple MVP quarterback, but future Super Bowl ring quarterback. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm just so proud that we have this kid as our quarterback. And then to add Jay Ajay today, or not today, but you know, this week on Tuesday at the trade deadline to the Eagles, it's only gonna make them tougher going forward. And it's only gonna help Carson Wentz, especially if he's able to run effectively and defenses have to play 
that run a little differently than they were before, it's only going to open up things for Carson Wentz. Now, Denver is a good defense. It's a good test. I expect Carson Wentz to pass with flying colors. Dallas, Dallas is nothing but a wet paper bag that comes after. He should shred them a new one. He should shred the team that is the loins of Satan very easily. So things should go very good for Carson towards the, you know, for the rest of the year. And my, my feeling is this. He, if he throws 11 more touchdowns, He's 30 touchdowns. I expect Carson to get over 30 touchdowns at this point. He gets over 30 touchdowns. The Eagles are one, two seed. Carson Wentz is going to win the MVP. He's clearly winning the MVP. I don't even think it's close. His closest competition was Watson, in my opinion. Now he's gone. I think it's smooth sailing for Carson Wentz. All he has to do is be consistent, go 5-3 and three the rest of the year, and he will be MVP of the league for 2017 in his second year. Pretty impressive. And I expect the Eagles to be a one or two seed. Now, in the end, it's true. The MVP, the personal accolades, those awards don't matter as much as a Super Bowl ring. I think most players would feel that way. I know Carson Wentz feels that way. I feel that way. And most Eagle fans feel that way. So, yes, we want a Super Bowl. We want a Super Bowl first. But the way the Eagles team is set up, the way the league is set up, if you're going to have a Super Bowl winning team or a team that goes to the Super Bowl, you're probably going to have to have a pretty good quarterback who is at least going to be in the conversation for an award like this. The way the Eagles are built, the way this team is, you need an MVP type quarterback to run it. And you know what? The Eagles are getting that just fine right now. So Carson Wentz, Player of the Month for October, congratulations, congratulations to him, to the Eagles, to the Eagle fans. Let's keep it up. Let's make November even better than December and January even better and finish in February with the parade. With that said, I hope everybody has a great day. Take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.